UTMs or URL tags can be very, very useful and uh, they will help you, first of all, identify which campaign, ad set or even ad generated a particular um, order. And I will show you how to do it using Google Analytics, using uh, Facebook Analytics and even the default uh, WooCommerce orders page. But you can also deploy some very unusual and uh, quite performing, uh, high performing uh, strategies where you can create custom audiences for people uh, doing something on your website coming from a particular Facebook ad or Facebook ad set or even Facebook uh, campaign. So, uh, first of all, uh, how can you add URL, URL tags or UTMs to your Facebook ads? It's very simple because Facebook has a built-in feature that allows you to do it. Let me show you how to start um, using UTMs with your Facebook ads. This is a demo account and this is a dummy um, ad set is not uh, real let's say i want to add url tags to this ad first you need to use to to, to add your um, landing page url of course and then you have this part right here uh, facebook call them url parameters um, you can simply copy paste all of them in this field or use the build um, um, tool. And there is this option to uh, use that dynamic values, which are quite useful. And I, I usually do it this way. But for this example, I will simply use some uh, text like source. and um, that's it well you click apply and the links of your um, facebook ads will lead to a page that has something like this this has these utms um, tags in this way this is just an example i i prepared it um, previously but the landing page will look like this now why is this important First, Google Analytics works with UTM tags by default. Inside Google Analytics, you can um, see them in various ways. For example, this is a Google Analytics 4 um, report, monetization, e-commerce uh, purchases, and you can go here, click on acquisition, and select uh, user medium, user campaign, user source, or user source and medium. Basically, if you select user campaign, you will see um, right here, where is it? In this column, the name of your campaign. So what we have right here um, under uh, campaign, this, this value, which is nice, right? So you can see under Google Analytics, which campaign generated uh, that cell. I have uh, no data here. Again, this is, this is a demo account. Uh, Facebook Analytics also supports uh, some filters based on your U, UTM um, or URL tags. This is Facebook Analytics. By the way, Facebook Analytics is quite complex. I will just show this uh, filter part, matching parameters, and again, you can select UTM campaign and uh, you will see only uh, uh, reports for sales or traffic coming from that particular from the from the the, the campaign Facebook campaign using uh, UTM. But this is a uh, more like the conventional way to use UTMs. And now I'm going to show you some more uh, uh, some less traditional ways to use UTMs if you have Pixel your site professional because. Uh, Pixel Your Site does two things with UTMs. One, it tracks UTMs and adds them as parameters to all your Facebook Pixel events. 
all your Facebook pixel events and not on the landing page only, but across all events in a particular session. So if I will buy this product, my UTMs, my pages, my sorry, my events will have the UTMs. Okay, you can see them right here. Up until the last uh, event, which will be, of course, a purchase event if I finalize this transaction. And let me buy this product. Okay, and the purchase event has UTM campaign parameter, UTM medium, UTM source, all those parameters that I configured in my Facebook ad. But that's not all. Because if I go inside my admin and if I check this check this order, this one, okay, we have this pixel your site professional section right here that will show you the landing page related to this order, the traffic source, which in my case was uh, direct because I simply opened the page, but also if they exist, the UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, UTM term and UTM content. So I can tell right away that this order is related to this particular ad and this ad set and this campaign because I have all this information uh, visible right here. Uh, I have additional data as well. I have the uh, client's browser, which is my browser, uh, time, day and uh, month. And I have uh, some information about how many orders this client has. In my case, this number right here, lifetime value and average uh, value for the client making this order. So. This is a nice uh, way to see which uh, Facebook ad or other source generated um, an order. Again, you 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 don't uh, you, you are not limited to just Facebook ads. You can use UTMs with everything, every uh, traffic source that you set up for your shop. Now, I know that this order can comes from uh, this particular ads, uh, Facebook campaign, but what I can do is uh, okay is to use for example the purchase event and uh, utm campaign to create a custom audience and this custom audience will be filled with people that purchase something from my website coming from a, a particular facebook campaign so let's build a, a custom audience for um, people that uh, bought something on my website coming from a particular um, Facebook campaign. Okay, uh, I select purchase. I don't know if I already have um, UTM available for a purchase because it, it's quite new, this event with UTMs. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, I have it. Good. And um, you can go back to your website, for example, uh, here, and see what value you have for a um, campaign. In my case, this is the value. Where is it? Right here. Good. I'm very poor at um, spelling. I already made a mistake. Ignore it. And I give it a name. Okay, so this custom audience will be filled with people that bought something on my website coming from a particular Facebook campaign. The one that has uh, these UTMs, the one that I configured at the beginning of this video. So uh, yeah, 
you can you can select a different event of course but uh, i will create just this one as an example so uh, there you have it you can use utms in various ways you can use them to see reports on facebook uh, google analytics quite useful you will see which campaign ad set or ad generated um, sales you can use them inside facebook analytics you can uh, see the this data right here uh, when you edit woocommerce orders if you use pixel your site professional and you can um, create custom audiences um, you can also create custom conversions i don't see um uh, usability for such a such a thing maybe you can you know, imagine something so yeah custom conversions are also uh, possible but this uh, this uh, this way of creating uh, custom audiences I think it's quite useful that's that's it about uh, UTM so URL tags make sure you use them as much as possible because uh, they can be very very useful